Now, remember what Daddy told you about Sports Day? That, that taking part is everything. To win with dignity and to lose with pride in the knowledge that you did your absolute best. And remember, whatever happens here today, Mummy and Daddy are immensely proud of you. Thank you, Mummy. Okay, darlings, now. It's nearly time. In perpetua vincere. In perpetua vincere. <laughs> In lane one, Chloe Taylor Thomas. In lane two, Thomas Taylor Thomas. <laughs> Imogen Fitzroy Ferguson. In lane four, Fergus Fitzroy Ferguson. <laughs> in lane five, Amelia Harvey Henry. <laughs> and in lane six, Henry Harvey Henry. <laughs> On your marks. Get set. <laughs> Go! No! It's the eggs. They're not organic. <laughs> No, that's fine. I mean, actually, here. No, I'm fine. Right. Abiento. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. The Land Rover Voyager has gone in for repair. But, Mummy, how shall we get to school? Try not to panic. But it's home economics today, and I'm presenting my scallops wrapped in Bavarian veal. I'm afraid the news gets worse. But how? We're going to have to have... A hire car. Hire car? You mean a car that other people have been in? It's been delivered by a man from the garage. Do you mean a... Yes, darling. A mechanic. Morning, darling. I'm from the garage. I've got your courtesy car. Mummy, what's he saying? <laughs> you mean you no harm? Are you all right, love? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Please put the keys on the floor and leave us in peace. Yeah. Have mercy on us. You what, love? Please don't kill us. Here, look. I'll leave it there. You take it, I'll leave it, all right? There's no DVD in the back seat. And there's no ball bar on the front. What if we had to go off road or to... Highgate Village! It's a death trap! I'll call Daddy. We'll have to cancel school for today. No run for your lives, children! We're all going to die! Welcome <laughs> on England's mountain screen. Oh, Mummy, I do enjoy our visits to Guillaume. He really is the greatest charcutier in London, if not the home counties. Good God in heaven above. What is it? I must have taken a wrong turning. We seem to have driven into a place called... Tottingham. <laughs> Mummy, look! What's that? <laughs> Shall we feed him? No, if you do that, he may follow us home. <laughs> Mummy, this is scary. I'm looking, but no one's wearing robes. <laughs> Calm down. We must remember the time we were on safari in the Serengeti. We keep the windows and doors locked and don't let the locals see the windscreen wipers moving in case they try to rip them off. <laughs> Mummy, look at this. <sighs> yes, I've heard of that. I think they sell. Sell what, Mummy? Frozen food. <laughs> Now try not to panic, but the traffic lights are red and there's a man standing next to them with a bucket of dirty water and a sponge. <laughs> Just smile and look out front. <laughs> Don't look him in the eyes. 
He wants you to look him in the eyes, but you mustn't. He's going away. We did it. I can't wait to tell them at school. My day in Tottenham. <laughs> I'm having a gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt. Who wants a gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt? Chloe, would you like a gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt? Yes, please. Imogen, Chloe and I are having gooseberry and cinnamon yogurts. Would you like a gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt? Oh, yes, please. Fergus, Imogen, Chloe and I are going to have gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt. Would you like gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt? Yum, yum. Thomas, Imogen, Fergus, Chloe and I are having gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt. Would you like a gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt? What's the matter, Thomas? Don't you like gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt? I don't know, Mummy. Never tried gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt before. Well, come on, quick sticks. Would you like to try gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt? I think I'll pass, Mummy. I've only just got my head round hummus. <laughs> Everybody, stop. Put down your gooseberry and cinnamon yogurts. What is it, Mummy? This yogurt pot is dated the 9th of May. But today's the 10th. That can only mean... These gooseberry and cinnamon yogurts have been out of date for 24 hours. At least it's low-fat yogurt. Doesn't make any difference, Chloe. Out-of-date low-fat yogurt can be just as dangerous as ordinary yogurt that fat people eat. <laughs> what can we do? We may need to evacuate. Mrs Taylor Thomas, I think it may be too late. Fergus, what do you mean? I've already eaten some of the gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt. Fergus, no! <laughs> I'm afraid so. I slurped some straight from the pot before the dessert spoons had even been passed around. It serves me right for being such an old greedy gobble gannet. <laughs> there must be something we can do. There's nothing you can do, Immy, but save yourselves. The infected dairy produce is well into my system by now. Fergus! Immy, no. Fergus is right. We have to get as far away from him as possible. Now come on, children. Say goodbye to Fergus. You poor, brave boy, I'm so sorry. Don't blame yourself, Mrs. Taylor Thomas. Tinfoil lids are notoriously difficult to read. <laughs> Never forget you, Fergus. Take my house badge to remember me by. Don't touch it! Perhaps we could sing something. I'd like that. And did those feet in ancient times Walk upon England's mountains green And was the holy Lamb of God <laughs> On England's pleasant pastures seen And did the countenance divine Shine through